Krista. And today we are doing the Walking Dead recap of the very first episode of season seven. It was called The Day Will Come Where You Won't Be. What'd you think? Oh, it was so stressful. As I was coming on, it was like countdown on the TV and mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know if I can do it. I don't it was know really if I can scary. watch it. And then it came on and um, it was... I thought that Rick looked broken, looked broken right away. Yeah. But. I did too. And that was actually something I wrote down that um, watching him break was what they wanted because they wanted us to break too. And we definitely right. did. Right. But no, but I'm saying that um, Negan had said at, towards the middle end of the episode that he didn't think that Rick was broken enough. Oh. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I thought he looked broken and scared and just dumbfounded throughout the whole episode. But, he wanted that look. He yeah. wanted that look of complete horror and everything. Yeah. Um, that go that yeah. I mean every time he flashed back to someone when Rick would flash back to someone who was getting hit, I just thought, God, that's so sad. He he has so much on him. And, you know, it was just really sad. It was like I guess I was probably like the rest of everybody and just we were all so quiet when we were watching. It was terrible. It was very quiet. I was just like this. Yes. And then watch. when it came down and it was Abraham, I did not think that I would be as affected as I was for it to be Abraham. Yeah. I was really, really, really sad. I was so worried it was going to be Daryl. Yeah, that me too. <laughs> I, that's all I could consume myself with. And then when it actually was one of the characters, I guess yeah. it didn't matter who it was. I was, I was literally nauseous. Yeah. Nauseous. Yeah. I, yeah. My stomach was And then was when he turning. turned around, because I don't know, I do think it was Daryl's fault. I, I thought it was. I know 75% of the people said it wasn't, but I think it was. I'm sorry. I still love you. Yeah. Um, but I it was then, good. of course, when Glenn says to Maggie, I'll find you, that I think that that point is when I started to like tear up and I was like, oh my God, it was so sad. I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it. I know. And I think I was so emotionally wiped out at that point that when he killed Glenn I was just like yep that's another one like yeah. I didn't even it didn't it like didn't hit me as hard because I think I was just so raw at that point that I just oh my god it was traumatic yeah. it was so traumatic I hear you so all I kept doing was sitting there going just shut up just shut up and take it guys just stop talking just stop making noises because I didn't want him to kill another one because I'm mm -hmm. like well they'll just keep killing everybody mm -hmm. and then when um um when Rick was on top of the RV, I think he was on top of the RV, and he was, like, flashing, and it was going to um, Negan hitting everybody. Yeah. I was like, wait a cotton-picking minute. Yeah, I know. This is not good. Like, everybody's being killed off. I know. But then it was just him, like, getting it. Oh, no, he was down killing all the zombies. That's yes. what it was. And he was using yeah. that to, he like, using that. get himself mm -hmm. in the mindset to start mm -hmm. doing it. So. Mm -hmm. um, and then they captured Daryl, of course. We, I knew something was yeah. going to happen where they did something like that. Um, but he's not dead. No, they're just going to use him as a pawn. Yeah. To I keep know. us on our toes. Yep. Um, but they said they're like, Negan goes, you just don't kill one of, you just don't kill this guy or yeah. something like that. And I was like, mm, yeah. yeah, you use him as a pawn. Yeah. So, oh, good Lord. So it's going to be really interesting for me to see how Rick deals with someone else in charge. I think, I don't think that's going to go well. I don't know how many episodes that's going to last. but that'll Maggie be is on a mission, so you mm -hmm. better just listen. Because mm -hmm. she was like, we are going after him and we're yeah. killing him. And it's like, Maggie, take it down a notch because they'll just keep killing people. If, you know? Yeah. Um, and then Carl's arm. Yep. Yep. So my thought basically was, for the whole episode, it was I was not satisfied with the entire thing. Um, I just felt like it was really sad. And I still want to watch next week, but... I don't know. It just I was left very empty. How about you? It was it was emotionally draining. It was, and then when they came on when <clears throat> what's his name? Um, Talking Dead. Why am I spacing on his name right now? I don't um, know. The host of Talking Dead. Yeah. Anyways, when they came on with that commercial and they said um, the show's almost over, I went, How did that happen so yeah, fast? Because I, I was know. just so like you're in that moment and you're so it's yeah. just it's the fastest hour of your life. Yeah. So I'm what did you guys think? For next week. Were you guys excited, scared, sad, all of the above? We were. It was It was I'm a sad. long eight months of waiting, and then we found out. Yeah. So. And this is setting them up for quite the season. Yes. So we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.